will bat second. Luke Peters in the three spot. James Darby, the big cleanup here, playing center field. Kyle Linton bats fifth. Neil Davies in the six hole. Morgan Ottridge will bat seventh. The eight hitter is Tom Prescott. And the nine hitter is Matt Tomlin. That's the lineup for Great Britain that will face the pitcher, Kim Hansen. He got the start yesterday. Tough luck loss for him against the Czech Republic. The outfield, it looks as such. Valdemar Turkelson playing in left field. Martin Simonson in center. And Tom Brown, the speedy right fielder, will patrol over there. Alexander Lorenzen will play at third base. Dennis Nielsen is the shortstop. Mark Nehoy will play at second. And Daniel Julnor will play first. Anders Jorgensen behind the plate. And as I said, Kim Hansen gets the start. We're just about set, ready to go. One last thought. Let's talk about the umpires, Jason, and all international crew. Why don't you run them down? Yeah, behind the home plate today in charge of everything, Jason Carter out of Australia at first base is Valdemar Lewis from the Czech Republic. And then we've got two New Zealanders out there from my home country, so great for them to be in this ball game. Second baseman, uh, second base umpire is Mark Porteous. At third is Tony Kairuna. And Arike Ramirez from Cuba is taking care of the 22nd clock. We saw one 20-second pitch clock violation happen in the last game, the first one that we've seen here this week. We're set, ready to go. Why don't you settle in for another great ball game here on Sports Canada TV. Glad you've tuned us in. The Twins are rocking here in the press box. First pitch swinging for strike one. And a bouncer foul, so a good start for Kim Hansen getting on that front third of Regan O'Neill. I think with this hard-hitting lineup that you could see from Great Britain, off-speed is going to be the key for Hansen. O'Neill had a breakout season in New Zealand this past summer for his home team, the Howard Club, so that's why he's in the leadoff spot, but struck here hard in the leadoff spot right there with a K already. So down on strikes goes O'Neill looking, and you talked about it off the top. Maybe a little snake bitten. Now you got to win the now you got to win the mental game, if you will, uh, as you come through. As Kevin Stockford will come to the plate. Great Britain coming off of yesterday afternoon. They had a couple injuries. One little one fella had uh, had a sore f finger, and then of course that uh, that real bad injury to their one player uh, who is now actually headed home. And you were talking to Great Britain prior to the game, and uh, you can give us a bit of an update on that. Yeah, real sad yesterday. Uh, the young player, Josh Pete, he, uh, he took a ball in the face while he was batting, but he, he, he didn't just take it in the face. He took it square right in his mouth. He had turned a bunt yeah, at the time. Yeah, so um, the really unfortunate incident that happened there, and it was quite severe. He's broken a bone uh, in the top drawer of his mouth, and he needs to go home for surgery for that immediately. So he's on booked on a flight and leave on Monday. As Stockford topped that one, and... A 1-4 put out for the second out of the inning. And now Luke Peters will come to the plate. Yeah, he's being flown home tomorrow, or sorry, on Monday, like you said. And he's going to have surgery. It was his cleft that he broke. Yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a pretty scene. And luckily with the medics on site here, they were able to tend to him right away. And we wish him a healthy and speedy recovery as that rise ball misses. I know you spent some time in uh, in Denmark playing ball. Did you ever face Kim Hansen? Uh, no, I didn't. Um, unfortunately for Kim, when I was uh, playing there, he wasn't even born. <laughs> 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 uh, however, um, towards the twilight of my career, he came and played in New Zealand for the Metro Ball Club uh, for a couple of seasons. I got to face him then. So he was a good kid then, obviously young and, and, and free. Um, but he's a good pitcher, and he's the race, and he deserves yeah. to be out there today. Come to the inside corner for a strike as Peters swung and missed, and now a 1-2 count. Luke Peters is a good hitter. He comes from the Waitaki Beers Club. Off the glove of Hansen, but right on to shortstop Dennis Nielsen and on to first base. So a quick 1-2-3 inning. Nice start here for Denmark as we'll head to the bottom half of the first here on Sports Canada TV. We'll keep it here with you and, and talk a little bit more about this lineup and for Great Britain, and we'll run down defensively with their lineup as they get set to step out. Left field is Tom Priscott. James Darby will patrol out in center field. Kelvin Harrison over in right. Uh, Neil Davies at third base. Regan O'Neill will play short. Matt Tomlin at second. Morgan Ottridge will be the first baseman. Kevin Stockford behind the plate. 
And Kyle Linton, who took that tough luck, tough luck loss after a two-hitter yesterday, he gets the ball again here for Great Britain. Denmark's lineup, they had a good back-and-forth affair with Czech Republic yesterday, but Valdemir Turkelson will lead things off. Anton Brown and Martin Simonson, your 1-2-3 hitters. Daniel Jolnor will bat fourth in the cleanup spot. Anders Jorgensen bats fifth. Anders Svein will bat sixth. Mark Nehoy, Kim Hansen, and Alexander Lorenzen, 7-8-9 hitters in the lineup as set by Israel Nukunuku. And when you talk about the Nukunuku family, that's, uh, that's royalty down in New Zealand, and they've taken their act over to Denmark here with this squad. Yeah, they sure have. The Nukunuku family runs rich in uh, softball history throughout New Zealand. Uh, as you know, Nathan Nukunuku is playing in second base for the New Zealand Black Sox and, and is their captain. Uh, but uh, the head coach here, Israel Nukunuku, is a full-time professional coach. He's been, he's been coached eight World Cups, four of them are men's. He's coached everything from under-19s, the women's, every facet of a World Cup he's done. He's been doing it since 2008 till today. Dion Nukunuku played 16 years for the Black Sox. He got three gold medals uh, during that time, predominantly a shortstop second base, so a good thinker of the game. And an interesting tidbit about Dion, a fabulous thing with him, his most memorable play ever, well, it got to be one of the most memorable play, his last at-bat at a World Cup was in the 2004 Grand Final against Canada, and he hit a home run over the right field fence. Boy, when he rounded second base, he turned to the crowd, pointed to his family, he was one happy chap. No doubt. That's one way to go out on top uh, for sure as we settle in and get ready for the bottom of the first inning. Kyle Linton set to take on the top of the order for Denmark and Valdemir Turkelson, part of the great Turkelson family from the Denmark region. Brother Freddie, of course, patrols center field in other years. This year not available due to the, to the team. So Linton looks to start it here for the team in red. One of these teams will find their way to the win column here in white horse turn to bun and that one comes well up and in right underneath the chin Valdemar Turkson he deserves to be the leadoff batter for this team he's the most one of the most experienced players on the uh, on the staff here he's very talented bats from the left side he's quick he has power and he's clever so he deserves to be in that spot he's the best person for the job see how he approaches today's at bats yesterday he just didn't seem to have steady feet Bouncing around a lot today, a lot more solid on in the box. But yesterday, hands moving, dropping on the bat, jumping around in the box, and just couldn't get steady. And when you look back at the score sheet, it shows because he did not have a good day at the plate. Uh, he'll be wanting to fix that. Like I said, he's an experienced ball player these days. He's played all over the world. Um, so I'm sure with that in mind, he'll take some of that experience and knowledge that he's got and make the adjustments that's required of an international ball player here and look to get some good results. So Kyle Linton, after he finishes his landscaping out at the mound, he's set, ready to go again. Two balls. Going to take up a different profession maybe in his off time. And to the outside corner for a strike. Kyle Smith and Jason Chopper Gerbys here on... Sports Canada TV with Ballpark Broadcasting. Glad you tuned us in. We're here all week long for all 72 games and a bunt back to the mound. And Linton will throw that underhand over to first base. A little bit of a collision there as Turkelson goes through the bag, but no harm, no foul on the 1-3. So yeah. Anton Brown will come up. Great example there from uh, Valdemar. You know, using a toolbox, you only have to hit for power as a leadoff. The idea is to take a few pitches and then put the ball in play. Just unfortunately got that a little bit too far out to Linton there, and that was an easy play, 1-3, uh, unfortunately for uh, Turkison. So Kyle comes up and in for a ball. Anton Brown, I got to see him play this summer in New Zealand for the Ramblers Ball Club. <clears throat> I've never seen him before, left-handed, but he comes with a bit of power, actually. He's a handy little hitter. Batting out of the two spot today as he did yesterday. This an identical lineup uh, for Dion and Israel Nukunuku from yesterday. So staying with a good solid lineup. They played well yesterday, just got that one extra hit against them and that told the tale. It's not that they played bad or made an error, it's just the Czech Republic did just one step 
had one more run at the end of seven innings. And that one into the dirt. Runs the count now, three balls in one strike. You know, I like the look of uh, Anton Brown. He seems to be quite composed in the box. Doesn't seem to get flustered. Doesn't look nervous. That's what you need from a leadoff uh, type of hitter. Linton working away, and Brown will find his way out onto the bases with the one-out walk. So we'll put some speed on the base path here as Martin Simonson now comes to the plate. Yeah, Martin Simonson, he's one of the other players on the squad here. He plays all year round, played in New Zealand for the North Coast Ball Club, one of the most successful clubs in uh, Auckland, New Zealand, uh, back home. Uh, and I saw him play all season last year. He comes with a lot of good at-bats, but a terrific outfitter, and he roams center field for them as well. So Simonson with that big open long stance takes on the inside corner for a strike. Simonson yesterday with a little snake bit and had a walk and was 0 for 3 with that walk. As Linton sets 0 2. Swing and a miss on the rise and just underneath Simonson. So he's still trying to find his way at the World Champs. Yeah, in my mind, uh, Kyle, that's um, Linton's best pitch right there. His rise ball is really tough to hit. Right there, he just reared back and said, May you want it? Come get it. Bang, straight past the bat. So Daniel Julnon will come to the plate. And time called. Got to reset the pitch clock. I thought he was signaling a home run. I thought, wow, <laughs> that was quick. Autom automatic. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little foreshadowing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Two down with runner at first. Off and going throw late to cover was Tomlin so stolen base for Anton Brown put himself in scoring position now yeah just a matter of time the Nuka Nukus are quite aggressive as coaches and they know when the best time to go in the last at bat uh, and never was there one time that uh, Simonson got ahead in the count it was always behind so it's not a good time to steal in that situation but you see right there now's the time it's getting run at a two and they've got two down, but a single scores. Be a great way to start the game for Denmark if they get on the board. Other side, Great Britain want to put a zero up, get in and get their own work in. Simonson had a sack fly, was hit by a pitch and reached on a walk yesterday. Sorry, Julnan. That was his day yesterday. So put the ball in play as an RBI, but looking for an average. Got some green grass to work with out there in right center field. 2-0 and o count. And outside ball three. So Kyle Linton, as much as this inning's gone, he's maybe having a little control issue trying to find his way through here in the first inning. Yeah, he probably wouldn't be happy with the pitch count, uh, to be fair, this innings. But look, if you put a zero up, you'll be happy with yeah. that. 3-0. <laughs> and on the corner for a strike, Julnan thought maybe he'd have a free pass. But at 3-1, and one, still a good hitter's count. Zero in on... One pitch, drive that ball to the power alley and find yourself up a run here. 3-1, up and in, ball four. And so to a walk, we'll bring Anders Jorgensen to the plate. You know, that's a great bit of hitting right there. We talked about pre-show, but if they're going to beat uh, Carl Linden today, they're going to lay off the rise ball. And you see that last pitch, 3-1 account. So you're going to be an aggressive as a batter, but he threw a rise ball right on the letters, and he didn't, he didn't go for it. You know, he laid off yeah. it. He kept, that, ball, he kept that, that pitch out of his arsenal of attacking, and, and he's rewarded with a walk. So Anders Jorgensen will come to the plate. Two runners on, two down, bottom of the first inning, and Riseball misses. And again, Linton continues to struggle here in the first with that command. Jorgensen's the captain of the team. Uh, you know, he, you look at him, and he looks like a leader. To be fair, he's the catcher. It's a perfect spot yeah. for a leader, so... Uh, hopefully he can lead his team right here in this situation. And called a strike on the inside corner. So even it up at one and one. Wind's starting to pick up again here, blowing right to left across the diamond. 
Inside again, strike two, and Jorgensen had a little bit of a look back. Thinking ahead, I'm sure, for him. He'll take those all day for his pitcher. One, two, swing and a miss. Got the rise working there, and Jorgensen comes up empty. So two strikeouts lead the two walks. We'll head to the top half of the second inning coming up on Sports Canada TV. James Darby going to lead things off here for Great Britain as we get into the top half of the second. To the corner for a strike. And the way when you watch that at home, the way Darby leans away, and if you're working away, that's going to be a hard one to get a hold of. He's just going to dribble it out the other way. And again, pounding away. I, and, you know, you see that one look, and that tells you how you approach James Darby. Yeah, they're obviously got a game plan against them here. It's up to Darby to adjust, right? Two strike hitting now. And away for a ball. Hard rise misses. Evens it up at two and two. Be finding his way back here. And strike three called. Caught looking for the first out of the inning. Now batting the pitcher, number 34, Kyle Linton. And now Kyle Linton will come to the plate. Kyle Linton hitting in the five spot. Called for a strike. You know what, though, Carl? Uh, everyone that was growing up, the, the pitchers on your junior teams, they were also used to be your best hitters, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what they tell you. Ball misses one and one. We had a pitcher this morning actually hit leadoff, and the first baseman didn't hit. He was the flex. There's one for the memory book. As that pitch misses two and one, I said to Joe on air, I said, We've got two things you never see in men's fast pitch. The pitcher leading off and the first baseman not hitting. 2-1 count. Inside called strike two. There's that inside corner coming again. Is There's one more plane passing over here at the Pepsi Softball Complex. We are on the direct flight path for the airport and... Down on strikes goes Kyle Linton. So back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the inning. Kim Hansen is dealing out on the mound. Yeah, he looks good. And uh, the reason he looks good, just watching that plane fly over the top, well, the reason he looks good is because he's hitting the location. Yeah. He's hitting the inside and the outside. Now, if you can get both sides called by the umpire, mm, sweet times for a pitcher. Sweet times for a pitcher, painful for hitters. And right on through goes Neil Davies for strike one. That's always the argument hitters will tell you. You can't give them both blue. <laughs> In or out. <laughs> then the pitcher says, yes, you can. <laughs> oh, one. And strike two. Jason Carter, maybe a little extra excited, was ready to punch out Neil Davies on strike three. But just strike two. Playing shallow on Davies here. And called strike three. Good morning, good afternoon, and good night. 
three strikeouts, and it's a quick, effective inning for Kim Hansen. We'll head to the bottom of the second here on Sports Canada TV. Back to the bottom of the second inning. Anders Vane will come to the plate, followed by Mark Nihoy and Kim Hansen. Six, seven, eight hitters here for Denmark. Kyle, I just got a uh, um, social media message from uh, New Zealand. Uh, Callum Ryan saying uh, a shout out to the Denmark team. Uh, the better up here, uh, Anas uh, Savener. He, uh, he played with him in New Zealand, and also Cullen played in Denmark with him as well. So wishing him luck all the way from New Zealand. Great to have you watching, uh, Cullen. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we have a good, solid following in New Zealand. Anytime we hit the airwaves, uh, New Zealand turns out in droves for the broadcast. So we appreciate the sport back in, uh, in New Zealand for sure. Oh, the broadcast is going off the hook at the moment all around the world. And, and I know in Denmark, they love the game. They'll be up watching this now intently, wishing for their team to have success. Great yeah. to have them watching in Denmark. Called a strike. Stockford couldn't handle it. And Zvane kind of looked back and said, oh, he's got to squeeze it blue to call that a strike. But one and two. And Linton works. Check the swing. Yes, he did. Count stays one and two. Two and two, excuse me. And a swing and a miss. Spain a little slow to the go, and Stockford going to alley-oop that one down to first. That would be a good back foot throw down to first base. <laughs> yeah, just getting away from Stockford there, but you know, speedy enough to get back and make that uh, nice strong throw up there, I suppose, to to first base um, to retire that out for the first out of the innings. And, uh, Denmark will be looking to get going here. They really do want to get ahead early against Great Britain. Uh, you know, try and uh, force some undue pressure on them. And so strike early before Kyle Linton settles in, that's for sure. Absolutely. Try and take advantage of this little... Uh, not necessarily being sharp as what we've seen. So you want to take advantage and, and grind on them and, and put the pressure on that they got to score and come back on you because they have had troubles putting runs up this last week and a half. They were down at the Vancouver Challenge in preparation for this tournament and they have yet to score a run in the last five games. So that's going to start to take a toll here as this week goes on. So Mark Nehoy at the plate. He's working a 1-1 count, not now 2-1. Linton, 2 1 pitch. And ball three. Mark, you gotta you gotta come back, buddy. We're just a little excited. Right, I got a nice little <laughs> interesting tidbit for you as he comes back. He's gonna get a roasting. Kevin Stockford is married to his sister. So oh, when yeah? he comes back down there, no doubt this is gonna be a funny joke between the two of them. Only three balls, buddy. Four gives you the base. 
Just got married this year, Kevin Stalker did. There you go. Three and one, swing and a miss. Good hard stuff from Kyle Linton there, and right on through, runs it full now at three and two. Shortening up the stroke. Inside ball four. So Nihoy finds his way to the base on the walk. And now Kim Hansen comes to the plate. Yeah, Kim's a free swinger. Uh, he just grips it and rips it. So if he gets a hold of it, it'll be good. Off and going. Throw from Stockford. No tag at, sh at second. So a stolen base for Nihoy. Yeah, f throw just a little bit off the mark to the right-hand side of the base there, but uh, O'Neill looked like he was a little late getting there as well. If he was stationary, maybe he could have pulled that tag in, and we saw uh, Nihoy sliding off the end of the bag. It could have been another uh, you know, tag applied, so a little lucky there. That's twice now we've seen Great Britain slow to the bag, and not one bun it up and not a play. <clears throat> so I think right there that tells you what... Uh, Denmark thinks how this game's going to be is runs are going to be important by thinking a bunt right now with one out in the inning. Yeah, that's straight from the look at the textbook right there. No one's expecting Kim Henson to bunt. He's a free swinger. Never bunts. And right there. Caught looking. Down on strikes he goes. So two down. Well executed pitch there from Carl. Yeah. Lincoln, you know. When you need to throw a good one, he just really polished that. Great location. Really can't do anything with that one other than spoil it off because yeah. it's well inside on the hands. And that one misses. Stockford and Linton both in disbelief it wasn't called a strike. So Alexander Lorenzen comes to the plate with two down, runner in scoring position. Inside for a strike. Yeah, Lawrence looks a little uneasy in the box, to be fair. And that first pitcher did the right job, leaving that high rise ball. There's a drop ball there. That's one he should be going at. So he's got to get ready. Little slow roller. Down on a knee to cover that up is Morgan Ottridge. He'll take it the short way to first base. Three unassisted ends the inning, strands that walk. And we head to the top half of the third with nothing to tell you. Top of the third. Yeah, just while we're waiting here, Carl, uh, you see the Great Britain uh, uh, coach down there, um, Christine. She is talking to the um, uh, to the plate umpire. Now, uh, we, we'd like to find out, and uh, we're going to do some research. We, she may be the first female, a third base coach ever from men's international softball program. At a World Cup, so uh, uh, it's great to see her here. She comes all the way from uh, Brisbane, Australia. She's been involved with the Great Britain team for a number of years, managerial role or scoring and all sorts. But she has a great a lot of experience, and it's great to see her giving giving these guys some of that experience. And and uh, who says ladies can't do it, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. If you have the knowledge and the ability, you're starting to see more and more sports hiring female full-time coaches in the men's games, whether it be pro sports or amateur sport. And a quick 0-2 count here against Otridge. Hansen works. Swing and a miss. And down on strikes goes Otridge. 
Hansen being nice and aggressive there. Three pitches, three strikes. Now the left fielder, he obviously feels good today. He's got a good one going. He knows his team needs a win here. He's giving it everything he's got. Swing and a miss by Prescott. As he goes up. That's four strikeouts in a, in a row for Kim Hansen. Bunt down and foul. An update from over at Diamond One. It's now two to one for Team USA in the bottom of the fourth inning. Nick Mullins with a bases loaded single driving in two. Swing and a miss by Prescott. Down on strikes he goes. Two down in the inning. And now you can say five in a row. Yeah, Hanson is dealing right now. He's got it all going both sides of the plate, down, rise wall, curve. It's all working for him right now. Matt Tomlin, he's not bunting with two out. That high bouncer goes foul. Matt Tomlin, he looks like he can run. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, he needs the bat there, young lad. Bat boy came out a little bit early thinking he was out. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Tomlin got up the line in a big hurry. Shortening his stroke. Nothing in two. Yeah, Hanson dropping that one off the table just straight underneath the bat. Well, in that situation, when he's so far up, choked up, that's where you attack or the hand, slow roller, and an easy tag at first. For a three unassisted, then the inning and end the string of strikeouts at five. So nothing to report, nothing to tell you about. Let's head to the bottom half of the third on Sports Canada TV. Back here with the top of the order for Valdemar Turkelson. As he will try and improve on his last at bat on the comebacker to the mound. This is the fourth time that Whitehorse is hosting a world championship. They've done two juniors, junior men's and one senior women now, of course, the pinnacle of men's softball the world championships so when you host that many juniors and now a senior you're bound to have some players and Denmark has got a story on that yeah they sure do Carl they uh, Denmark have been working in their under 19 program for many years now and that's starting to show results in their top side you know they won the European championship in uh, 2010 but they've got six players on this roster that have played under 19s right here at Whitehorse. So not only have they come through World Junior World Cups, but they've also played here. They know what it's like. Now, this is my first time in Whitehorse. It's an unusual, a beautiful uh, city and territory, but it's unusual, this daylight thing, man. <laughs> I landed That's, at yeah. midnight. You picked me up at midnight, yeah. <laughs> and it was still light. Yeah, still light. At, we, I picked you up at 12.30. I think we, by the time we got your bags and everything, it's about 20 to 1, and <laughs> it was still daylight out. Yeah, it uh, it's takes a bit to get used to it. It's a good thing we've got good blackout curtains on the hotel hotel windows so that you can get some sleep because 
if you've never been here, it uh, the darkest it gets is if you kind of think about just after a sunset, that pink sky and that bright pink sky after the sun goes down, that's at about 2 in the morning till about 3.30, and then the sun starts to come out again. So it's, uh, it's a place that everyone, I think, should put on your list to, to come and visit. Is that one to the backstop from Linton? Yeah, I gotta say, Kyle, when I, when I got the invite to come here uh, with um, Ballpark Broadcasting uh, for this this event, and you know, I was quite excited because I'd heard about uh, the environment here, and it's a beautiful location. We're going to get a, a chance to have a look around at the end of the tournament uh, at some of the sites that the offer here. But it's you know, if you can come up to the Yukon, you've got to come to Whitehorse. It's a beautiful place, and the people are so friendly. Yeah, absolutely. They will uh, just about do anything for you. Three and two count here is Turkelson trying to start things. Doing the right job here, though, isn't he? You know, leadoff hitter, taking plenty of pitches. The pitch count's getting up again. Second time he's done that here against Kyle Linton. And outside ball four. So this time he wins the battle and finds his way on base on the walk. One thing, though, if anyone knows Kyle Lennon, he'll figure out what's happening there. He'll make an adjustment, and he can throw a day. There is no pitch limit with this guy, man. He's a horse. He has got uh, a motor that just keeps on turning. Just give him the ball and ask for it back after you're done. Off and running. And that bounced up off the chest. Turkelson can't advance. And again, slow to the go to the bag was Regan O'Neill, and then that ball took a hard bounce up off of the chest and going to go take a look at Turkelson after that slide. Yeah, he's, he's an athletic guy, uh, Valdemar, and, and uh, he likes to run. Uh, he's an intelligent runner too, so if he gets caught in a hot box, he, he knows how to get out of it. Uh, but that, just that throw there from Stockford, that bounced way too early coming in there. And um, yeah, Regan O'Neill, you know, standing in front of the bag instead of straddling it uh, in that situation, you know. So you got to help him out as well, right? Oh, definitely. you got to get that throw there. And it's, it's a lot of moving pieces to make it work right. As they pick away at the corner again, missing. But Denmark, they're in a great opportunity now. Right, Carl? They got run around two, no outs. You know, the textbook play is to put it down. Doesn't mean look and look who's to do that. Man. They have their own strategy. There is the bunt. Takes it back and goes for ball three. So now three and oh. And the way this at bat's gone, I would just tell Anton Brown, put it on your shoulder and take one. Starting to apply some pressure here. Denmark to Great Britain. Bun again, and that one down and away, and Kyle Linton, as we've said so far, has not looked sharp and on point, and no one getting loose for Great Britain. Yeah, I tell you what, and a good time out here from coach, a uh, player coach uh, Stockford there in the catcher, because you just saw when the ball got back to Kyle, and he doesn't even want to talk about it, when the ball got back to, um, to Kyle there, he was not happy. He snapped at the ball. And he turned around in disgust. And, and uh, he knows Kyle's a better pitcher than what he's doing right now. Uh, and uh, he's just got to figure out, you know, what's happening. And sometimes it might be just something mechanically that's happening a little bit funny at the moment. And uh, if he can figure that out, I'm sure he'll be fine. But, you know, right now, runners on one and two, no outs. This is go time for Denmark right now. But again and fouled off. It's not a given to bunt in the situation, especially against a rise ball pitcher. It's the hardest pitch to bunt yeah. down successfully on the ground. If you're going to bunt it, you got to get on top yeah. of the rise. Yeah, and we're talking about a Carl Linton rise here, though, yeah. right? So this thing moves. Linton swung on and missed. Simerson in the hole here, no balls and two strikes. I've seen him use him and bat well in that situation, but you don't want to be in that situation all the time. 
He needs to get them over here. Oh, two. Swing and a miss. There's the good rise from Linton. Fifth strikeout for Kyle. Now this next batter here, um, Kyle, is Daniel, and his, his last name is uh, Jules Lenoir. Now, he, I like the look of him. He's a left-handed hitter, and left-handers seem to have good uh, uh, mechanics. I think it's nice and smooth, the swing, but he just looks composed in the batter's box. He's obviously built for a bit of power, so hopefully he can get something done for Denmark here. Just off a corner for ball one. Just a little green here, scores a run. Playing shaded back in right field is Kelvin Harrison. And back out to second, Stockford with that throw. You tell you, number 50, uh, second base there, Vladimir Turgeson. He's got a chain attached to that base because he wants to run. He wants to go. <laughs> Couldn't pull the trigger, Julianor, and two and two count. Oh, I bet you wish he had that pitch back. <laughs> that was right down Main Street. He won't get another one there, that's for sure. Two two runners on first and second. Linton deals, reached out, put out on left field, back striding Prescott. He can't get to it. It's going to bounce up off the wall and over the fence. So an unlucky break for Denmark. We'll only get. Anton Brown up to third. But if you're Great Britain, that's a great bounce up over the wall. Yeah, but Daniel Julianor came up, Trump's right there. Just what Denmark needed, apply the pressure. And he went with that, and that was on the outside of the plate. He went with it. He didn't try to pull it. He's a power hitter that would try, normally try to pull the ball, but he's intelligent. That's what I like about him. And he just drove that ball, and he managed to get it over the head of the outfielder. Just bounce, unlucky, as you said, going out. But, hey, stand up, double it is. Sc opens the account for Denmark. Misses again, does Linton. So the infield drawn in here on Anders Jorgensen. <clears throat> Kyle Linton trying to find his handle on the strike zone here as Denmark tries to open this one up. Up one nothing. Two runners in scoring position, just one down in the inning and that one dropped in again. Kevin Stockford pointing at the plate. Mm. Unfortunately, that doesn't work with umpires. Uh, um, a sign language, actually anything <laughs> like that. You know, you've just got to take it, try to have a good working relationship with an umpire. It's a key, key factor in any game that the uh, the catcher and the umpire need to be on the same page. And and uh, and if you get off it, you know, I can tell you now, you get a long way to go to win a ball game. Kevin had a few more words for him for Jason Carter when he came back to the plate. <clears throat> Three and oh. I'm sure it was just a polite apology. And I think they were making dinner plans. Yeah. Ball four. That's a great bit of hitting right there. That's the pitch that we talked about. They need a layoff. And uh, um, right now, that's the, the one reason why Denmark is looking imposing. They're just not swinging that letters high rise ball. You know, because it's pretty much unhittable anyway. So you just got to take it out. So good on them. Big situation here. A lot of bases. Inside corner called for a strike on Anders Svein. Playing straight up and fouled straight back. Not missing that one by much. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Swain, he put a swing on that one. If he had got that, that would have got out on that jet plane that threw, flew past not, not so long ago. But that was going to leave this place in a hurry. 0-2 count. Nowhere to put him. 
And that one lifted up on the right side. Back travels Ottridge. He'll make the grab. Tagging and coming. Didn't get the ball. Obstruction at the plate. One run in. Two runs come in to score. And over to third goes Anders Jorgensen. Yeah, what a play right there. Now, uh, yeah, uh, Morgan Ortridge there at first made, made made a great catch, you know, getting back on that spinning offering uh, up there, but he needed to get set and make a nice strong throw to home plate. It did come in early, but uh, Stockford, unfortunately, no, first things first, secure the ball, then make the tag. He would have been cold at home, and then, unfortunately, compounded. There was no one backing up the catcher on that throw, so when it went to the screen and came another run, Denmark capitalized. Pick up two runs on that play, forcing an error. Just what we talked about, Nuku Nuku game plan coming to the front. So Mark Nihoy now at the plate, two of catchers. So running at third is Svein. And ball into the dirt. You know, we've talked in these broadcasts many times during Black Sox games about putting pressure on defenses. And like you said, just right there, that is putting pressure on defense. That ball not off the infield on foul territory. And to tag and run, Stockford thought he had it, but it had trickled away. And then another nice play by Julinor to come in and score from second on that play. So 3 nothing now in favor of Denmark. And Kyle Linton misses. Mm, things aren't going right. Really, that was a drop ball high in that situation. You know, now, now that's not working. I mean, he's thinking to himself, what, what's going on here? So he, he's starting to get frustrated. And he's starting to think he's getting squeezed a little bit too, but that one had a hump when it come across that drop ball. And when it crossed the plate, that's high in the zone, but it finishes nice. But unfortunately, as we all know, it's not where it finishes, it's where it crosses the plate. So runners on the corners now. Still not out of the woods here is Great Britain. Two down in the inning. Kim Hansen takes for a strike. Only a matter of time for they send the second base. You know, they've stolen a couple of bases here. You know, the runner on three, they're looking to force another era. So you know, it's only a matter of time before Nihoi takes off. There he goes. Throw. Tag. Got him. Nihoy not happy. It was the right play to go, but Stockford took one for the team. Reared back and threw a seed to O'Neill over there to get the tag on the runner going to second base. And Great Britain, you know, that, that's a sigh of relief right there because that innings was shaping up to get real nasty on them right there. I mean, three's enough. But five, ooh, that that's, would have been bad. That's a tough go after the struggles that they're having. So three nothing after three. We'll come back for the top of the fourth on Sports Canada TV. Back away we go here in the fourth inning. Three nothing now in favor of Great Britain. And in between innings, they had a bit of a huddle there over by first base just to right this ship. They're having a struggle here to start this tournament off. And it's been a struggle and it continues here against Kim Hansen. Called for a strike and Kevin Stockford says, that's the same one you call the ball for my guy. But it's Regan O'Neill who leads things off. He struck out looking back in the first inning. Kyle Smith, Jason Gerby's here with you on Sports Canada TV. Glad you've tuned us in. Hope you spend some more quality time with us. A little check swing, excuse me, across the diamond in time. And the troubles continue for Great Britain. 
Yeah, great play by Lawrence in there. Just, uh, be composed, don't rush that play. On a check swing, he knows the runner, or the batter's not going to get a good jump out of the box. He's got a lot of time there. Composed himself, got a good position, made a nice hard throw uh, to get the out there, just what they needed. But, you know, Great Britain here, we talked about pre-show, what do they need to do to get going? They need to be composed. They need to believe in the process and the game plan. And I see them getting frustrated, and that's not going to help. They just need to be composed, believe in themselves, believe in the game plan. Don't push too much. Just let it happen. Let the game come to you. Don't make it too hard. That's when it gets complicated, right, is when you start to think on the softball diamond. As soon as you start to let the mind get in it, you're in trouble. Yeah. So Kevin Stockford now, he grounded back to the mound in the first inning. Hanson 0-1. Fouled off again, top of the hands. Yeah, this is a good opportunity for Great Britain though. Now they can be composed at the top of the order. And Kevin Stockford, he actually lives in Denmark uh, and uh, plays in their club ball there. So he knows all these players and he knows Kevin Hansen very well. Swing and a miss. Outside drop ball. And strikeout number seven for Hansen. I guess on the flip side of that, Carl, Kevin Hansen knows <laughs> Stockford Kevin very well Stockford, as well, right? Yeah. Yeah, good pitch down and away and bang. And, you know, sometimes, and I've had this conversation with people, is sometimes, you know, when you're back home playing club ball, guys play a different way, and, and they've said pitchers pitch differently at international or national or, or provincial tournaments, if you will, and it's just a different mindset. Sometimes it's that different catcher that they're throwing to, a different game caller, if you will, and, uh, and that maybe is the case here. But right now Kim Hansen is twirling a good one in an 0-1 count here to Luke Peters. Peters lays off that one. Luke Peters' nickname is Bomber. And I'll tell you how Great Britain would love to live up to that name right here. He'll just take a base hit, a little check swing foul. He's been doing some work on that beard too, right? He's got like the Brian Hansen beard thing going on. There's a lot of effort going there. Good on him. That is a top quality beard. Hanson, 1-2, rise ball well out of the zone. Good discipline by Peters to lay off. Hanson, it just looks so effortless to him and doesn't really get rattled on the mound. Not a lot of emotion on the mound. There's a base hit for Great Britain. And Luke Peters, a two-out single. Great Britain's first base hit in 11 and two thirds innings here at the World Championships. And you want to talk about a weight off the shoulders? That could be just what they're looking for. Yeah, he's a good spark plug, is uh, uh, Luke Peters. And, and uh, you know, he's built for power, but he actually can run. He's, he's quite a fast guy. So uh, he might even try to, try to uh, get going here. I don't know if I would. Darby fouls that one off. Yeah, I don't know if I'd be stealing the situation too early. I know, I, and like I said, don't press too much, allow it to happen. But I tell you what, there's an interesting uh, a situation here up the bat. It's Darby's up the bat. Uh, he's Australian, actually, and, and the plate umpire, Carter, is Australian. And after a strikeout on the first at bat, they had a little couple of words with each other. I'm sure it was, hey, hey mate, how's the Barbie? But hopefully uh, he can be composed here. That one misses for a ball. One one count, working deep into the 22nd clock, and good rise comes up empty. Does Darby one and two? Swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes Darby, and again it's working to the outside on him, and let him swing away. Eight strikeouts on the day, but. Maybe one of the bigger stories there is Great Britain comes up with their first base hit. Get that monkey off the back. Now you get three quick ones here. Coming up next on Sports Canada TV.
Back here with Kim Hansen at the plate. He was left standing there on that throw down on the steal. Going to the bottom of the sixth inning, it's USA Softball leading two to one still over Australia. So that game getting on in length. USA trying to find their way to the win column. And call the strike. So one and one. Kyle Smith, Jason Gerbys here with you this afternoon. And he went through that for strike two. Yeah, Kim, you know, trying to do a leadoff job here, just trying to get on. Uh, it's good to see, you know, no ego there from Kim. He's just trying to get on. He's doing a great job on the hill. Just trying to help out his team with a bit of hitting. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes goes Hansen. Six strikeouts for Linton. Kyle just got a message from one of my buddies in Denmark. It's 2.30 in the morning uh, over there at the moment. So they're starting up late to watch their national team here, and they'll be wishing them on. And uh, it's great to have them following all the way from uh, Copenhagen and Denmark here. With this Danish team, they're looking to fire. They're firing so far. Halfway through this ball game, can they continue to go? Well, the top of the morning to you. And a bunt. Linton can't get it. Nobody at second. Nobody behind him. And... Put a runner on first. Yeah, tough play there, though. You know, that's one that's one of those ones who gets hit, and it was actually just out of the reach of both of them. And uh, um, the, the second baseman had no chance to come and get that either in that situation. And just he's, move, he's moving to cover first, so he's already bailed out. Yeah, yeah, it was just it's one of those things, and it just happens sometimes. And, hey, take your, take your poison and get on over there. We've got one out, and let's, uh, let's just work here. Top of the order, though, right, for Denmark? Absolutely, with Turkelson at the plate. Walk and a run scored. Looked as though there that Lorenzen was off and running. Yeah, just see Dion looking to go over at first base, having a chat to the, the runner there at first base. Just giving him some words of advice about uh, what he needs to do in this situation. And that's where he should add to this team, that, just that mental edge. Show the bunt and pull it back for a ball. Just watching Dion down the right field line here, Dion looking, looking at the assistant coach. He's just constantly talking to that base runner, constantly giving him advice. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's just, you know, it's invaluable. 16 years of the Black Sox. On the corner, throw down, not in time. There's another example. We talk about trying to force, un, uh, force unforced errors here. Uh, in this situation, they got a throw down there. The runner got back easily, but they made them throw the ball there. You know, they're forcing them to make plays here. Linton, one, two. Lifted up, down on the left side. That's going to fall into the glove of the sliding Prescott. He's got... Lorenzen <laughs> was like putting his arms down beside his hands and he's like, I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what I should be doing right now, but I'm okay. Hey, but how about the catch? Tom that was a great Prescott catch. Prescott out there had to make up a mile of room, pulled the slide on the basket catch. Wow, that, that, that's, a, that's an international player right there. Great job. And then got up and got the ball in quick. So, you know, Prescott there getting a bit of acknowledgement from his teammates, and he deserves it. Great catch. And great to see these guys coming on, you know, from, from Great Britain, these, these new guys coming into their international program. They're doing great things in Great Britain over there at the moment. And, um, you know, fast pitch softball seems to be growing around the world, yeah. and it's an exciting time. No, definitely. There's a lot of first-time nations here that we've seen 
uh, and some nations who have been here and coming back that, you know, they've developed in Botswana with that win yesterday and then have a good showing in their game today. That turns a lot of heads. And uh, the Hong Kong game goes seven innings and they walk it off in the end. And South Africa hanging in with the Dominican Republic here today. Like, there's a lot of things improving for this game. And a little roller from Anton Brown on to first. And there's a quick, nice, neat and tidy inning for Kyle Linton. We'll send us to the top half of the fifth. Over on the other diamond, they are headed to the top of the seventh. Aussies are down one run, 2-1 in that one as they head to the seventh. USA winning 2-1. to one. Wow, that'll be turning heads. USA got a strong team this uh, this year for sure. You know, the, the addition of uh, uh, Jeremy Manley on the hill there, but they're a great hitting team. And we know Australia are good. They've been good for a long yeah. time. They've won a world championship uh, in Saskatoon a few cycles back now, but uh, and they still have these two strike pitches and Falkard and um, Kirkpatrick. So, you know, they're a chance with those two pitches, no matter what's happening, uh, and, and a 2-1 ball game. That's a... That's a real game right there. Runner on second now with a bunt. Sacrifice bunt moves him with one out. So trying what they can to manufacture a run. Nine out, five in. So that'll be Anton Brown coming out. And Lucas Lohman going out for him. And then I heard them say that the DP, Anders Vane, is actually going out to position nine, seven, left field. And a change for Great Britain, 18 out and 36 in. And that's a Swanee Amit who will check in. Kyle Lim's going to lead off those innings here for Great Britain. I'll tell you what, if he can get one out of the middle of the bat, that will just help out uh, Great Britain. Uh, for their batting, so it'll help Kyle Linton yeah. for his pitching. So uh, Settle him down, right? He's that. He's got a lot of things going on right now. He hasn't had the greatest of days finding his way through, but just a 3 nothing ball game here. Definitely want to get a run up on the board here this inning to have a response. Turning the bun is Kyle Linton. Showing a little bit of footwork through the box. Both pitches have shaped up the bun today, you know. And they, that is uh, that is about not putting your ego first, right? That's a team man right there. Both both guys, top guys. And Linton gonna send that skyward. It'll be Lorenzen who makes the grab. Lorenzen having a fine game here. We had that um, ground ball to him earlier on in the game. He took his time to make a nice strong, got a good position, strong throw at the first base. And there underneath, a nice high ball spinning safely underneath that. Playing well. Runners on the corners over on the other game, just keeping you abreast of what's going on. A walk to Norton and advancing on a wild pitch was Jemmett. So Australia got something going down a run in the seventh inning. Not that I want to lose the viewership, but I think you better tune into that one for the finish and then come back to us or just throw on both games. Nice reach by Lorenzen on to first. Great play by the youngster. Yeah, you're, you're right, Kyle. That's the best way to go. Let's split screen, have both games going. <laughs> Turn the sound down over there. You don't listen to them. Just listen to us. <laughs> Absolutely. But have their picture going in the background as well. <laughs> That's the great thing with this stream. Yeah, you can split screen. You can do what you like. You can watch it on lots of different devices. Canada Sports TV, they've got it going on for us here. It's great to be part of the group. Good to have you up here. Glad to uh, glad you could make the trip, and uh, it's good to finally meet you. I know we've had a lot of exchanges over Facebook and, uh, and through email, so it's good to finally get you up here for one and swing and a miss on a strike. 
Yeah, you know, I, I look, it's completely my pleasure to be here. And, uh, you know, Carl, and, uh, um, uh, it's quite funny. You know, you and I, we look like twins. <laughs> so <laughs> we've been doing this together for years. Little grounder beat it out, did Aswani Amit as he legged that one out. So not done here in the fifth inning. Yeah, that was, we did a Facebook Live earlier and that was somebody's comment was we were twins. You even grew a couple inches in our one video. Hey, I tell you what, I was the one, I was only up there. <laughs> what a great substitution coming in there. You yeah. know, he came in and gave him a spot, got a, got a single. That's good coaching right there. Oh, here we go. Little, little liner, but easily played by the right fielder, Anton Brown. But their bats are starting to come alive. You can start to kind of feel that. Get things going here. Start to find their mojo as, as you will. We'll head to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Coming up next on Sports Canada TV. And away we go to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Martin Simonson will lead things off. He's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts. Kyle Smith, Jason Gerby's on Sports Canada TV here from the 2017 WBSC Men's World Softball Championship from Whitehorse, Yukon. Man, you look out beyond the, the diamond here on diamond number two, Jason. You know, those mountains and hills, and it just doesn't get old. No, it doesn't. It's a pretty country up here. And uh, you know, just we're so lucky to be up here and amongst it, and in a great ball yard to be uh, to be playing in. And, uh, you know, that's what that's what you want. You know, the sky's blue, the park is great, the scenery's good, and the fans are awesome. One ball, right there, called for a strike. We talked about Lorenzen, and I called him a young fella. He's. Uh, He's 18 or 19. We kind of have some conflicting stories. Let's go with 19 or 18 and a half anyways. But uh, he's actually part of the U19 program as well. So uh, he's getting his first taste at the senior level. Thanks for the tip from Denmark Softball. Watching back home. Two and two. Join the conversation at WBSC Men's 2017. Is that right? Yeah, they did tell me go. that uh, yep. Lawrence was quite young, and he, I think he, he's already attended a, a U19. He's got another one to come under his belt. So, so he if he's got another one to come, then he is 18. Because he'd be 19 next year, so he can play eligible up until then. So an 18-year-old here this week. 3-2 pitch. And a three-little bouncer. On to first. Got him. Well, that's why they re-entered Orchards back into the first base there. Uh, I had Swanee come in and, and hit from in that last batting innings, but a great pick in the dirt there uh, and a very important out. You know, you've got to try and stop Denmark in this situation. If they get the leadoff runner on, then it's pressure, pressure time again. Absolutely. Well, we talked about how that third inning all of a sudden could have been a big one and that stolen base caught stealing. 
could prove to be a bit bigger because clinging to that 3 nothing lead, you never know what could have happened in that third, could have blown it wide open. Linton works off the corner for a ball. And call the strike. Sounds as though that game over on diamond number one. Jace has gone final 2-1 for Team USA. So they even up their record at 1-1 one and, one and that gets fouled off. Yeah, Team USA, they've got the best team uh, at a World Cup for a while now. And uh, they're a real chance uh, to medal uh, in this event, if not the top one. So, uh, yep, yeah, you've got to watch out for Team USA in this tournament, like, that's for sure. And they have a big following uh, in the States uh, and, and around the world. Very popular team, so um, best of luck to them. Called strike three, and Jelenor knew that coming as he caught looking two down. Strikeout seven for Kyle Linton. So he's putting together a good day on the mound. Anders Jorgensen now comes to the plate. He's 0 for 1 with a walk. Yeah, Kyle Linton's just settled down here, hasn't he? You know, uh, um, maybe just a little bit of time in the batting and, and uh, a guy got a hit for him as well. And he just seems to have settled down. And he's, he's got his rhythm back a little bit. He's calmed down. And uh, as we know, uh, a composed Kyle Linton can throw really, really well. Inside called for a strike. <clears throat> Tony Monsh able to work out of a jam to finish up that ball game on the other diamond. As we said, a 2-1 win and a swing and a miss by Jorgensen. Nice location from Linton there, you know, right tied inside there. And not much you can do with it anyway, so uh, good pitching. 1-2 pitch. And up and in for a ball. Evens up at two and two. And off the corner for a ball. Three and two, account runs full. Yeah, Colin's just gonna take that medicine. Stay composed, keep on going. He is throwing well right now. Just have that in the back of his mind. And called strike three, down on strikes, looking. Eight on the day for Kyle Linton. We head to the top half of the sixth inning, three nothing in favor of Denmark. Come back with more on Sports Canada TV. Away we go with Matt Tomlin, who will lead things off here for Great Britain. Ball one. Sixth inning we go here. So just to finish the discussion on Lorenzen, he's 19 this November. So actually he, he's done his cycle. He won't be able to play next year. And foul that off. So Tomlin had that little dribbler back in the 
third inning. Hanson wants a different ball. Top of the sixth inning here, trailing by three runs. You know, if Tom can get on base here, it'll bring up top of the shot for Great Britain with a, no, uh, with a runner on and no outs. That's exactly what they need here. You know, you, you only got six outs left in this ball game. Now's their time. 2-1. Tomlin again showing that bunch, swinging away and fouling it off. Good pick up by Jorgensen behind the plate. You can feel the intensity starting to lift out there, can't you? A little more chirp coming out of the dugout. Inside called, strike three, down goes Tomlin. Hanson just being precise. Not about pace there, it was precision that got on that strikeout. Just what they needed there, Denmark. But top of the order now. The good ones sometimes have a very fine paintbrush and they just get in on that edge. As now Reagan O'Neill comes to the plate. That one goes inside for a ball. One more game here for Diamond number two today. What has been a marathon so far. New Zealand and the Czech Republic will do battle. Yeah, that's going to be a beauty uh, coming up. Czech Republic getting their first win over the Black Salt last weekend in, uh, in Vancouver in a warm-up tournament. First time ever the Czech Republic have beaten New Zealand. And uh, you know, I can bet you New Zealand want to fire back and reply with a lot of venom in the game to come up. So that'll be one to tune in for sure. You and Lance Wynn have that one on tap here. Yeah, looking forward to working with Lance Wynn. He's a professional uh, broadcaster and just a great guy. So I uh, got to spend the last couple of days with him. and uh, I'm looking forward to learning in the booth with him uh, coming up in that game. And you, can, you can pay him now. <laughs> you, you can pay him now. That one outside misses. For my Three steak. and two. <laughs> my steak just got cheaper tonight. <laughs> Full count. O'Neill fouls that off. Good contest here. O'Neill's a good hitter. Hanson's a good pitcher. Pressure part of the ball game. Now start piecing together some hits in a row. And that one ripped down the line foul. As we said a bit earlier, you can almost feel the bat starting to waken up here for Great Britain. Over on diamond number one at seven o'clock, it'll be Canada taking on Argentina. Yeah, action all round. That's gonna be a beauty of the game as well. You know, Canada red hot coming through this tournament at the moment and the warm up tournament. Before this, they just look red, red hot, just like the shirts. Um, and, uh, but Argentina, man, they're full of passion. And they got flamethrowers on the mound as well. Um, that fast-paced um, ball, uh, ball club. So that'll be a great matchup over there as well. So two great games coming on. Don't worry, folks at home, and you can watch an archive broadcast if you want, one after the other, or, hey, put it on two screens or split the screen. Watch both. But you probably want to listen to me and Lance win, I'm telling you. That'll be the treat. Down on strikes. Goes Reagan O'Neill looking. Breakout number 10 for Kim Hansen. And Israel Nukunuku out to the mound to talk with 
Kim Hansen. A quick discussion in and out. Yeah, not exactly sure what that's about right there. And, you know, Hanson looks composed. I know it's, a, it's the uh, a tough end of the order. And uh, he did get Stockford on that down and away last time up. But um, maybe it was just, to, you know, getting him to take a bit of time and, and slow it down a little bit maybe. Or he might have seen something mechanically that was changing. I'm not too sure. But um, uh, um, normally when you're in the situation and you're two outs, you're top six, you're up by three, you want to just let your pitcher go. You know, he's thrown a heck of a ball game and shut out so far. And, um, so you just, you know, you never know. I'm by doing his job, giving him confidence, cool, yeah, that's fine. Thank you, sir. Yeah, put that in the book. Hansen working, and Stockford sends that first pitch up. Lorenzen under it and makes the grab for out number three. Wow, it's the wonder kid again, Lorenzen. Isn't he having a ball game for them? You know, uh, I can't believe he's so young. and, uh, and Involved he's, in a whole lot today. Yeah, he has, he, has, he won. And, and like being so youthful and going to those U19 tournaments and World Cups already, uh, you know, he's obviously going to be one of the players to watch from Denmark in the future. And What a great kid to watch. So we'll take a break, come back with the bottom of the sixth inning. Denmark coming to the plate, up three to nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Back away we go here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Lucas Lohman has come into the ball game, as we said a bit earlier, he's in for Anders, uh, Anders Zvane. And a rise ball, swing and a miss for a strike. It's been overcast all day, and now that we've reached about quarter after six, the sun has come out, guns a blazing. And caught looking down on strikes goes Lohman. Nine strikeouts for Kyle Linton. Yeah, Kyle Leonard just shown his experience, isn't he? You know, he might have had a rough start to the ball game, but he just settled himself down now, and he just looks in control. And that one through to the backstop. Yep, commentator curse. In control, <laughs> one to the backstop. Nice job, Chopper. <laughs> Called strike. 
I want to thank everybody at Sport Canada TV for all their hard work today. Choi L. Brown is running between both diamonds, but our crew here, our director, Cade Leslie, our camera operators, Charlie Kanan, Kevin Bourne, and Mike Paranui, who have been with us all morning, afternoon, and into the evening, bringing you all the sights and sounds from Whitehorse. Yeah, i got to say, color is a fish and wild outfit here, and... Uh, Fish the camera crew guys, you know, they're getting some nice tight shots for us and just did a great job. Pleasure to work with them. So the count runs two and one. And inside ball four. So we're going to have a pinch runner as number 65, Duncan Milne, heads out to run for Nihoy. Well, looks like we're having a change in the, in the batter's box as well here. Number 51, Mikael Anderson is coming in to bat. So he must be coming in for, the, for Kim Hansen. So I'm guessing that's a, a pinch hitting role. Yeah, uh, here. So they uh, did that yesterday too, in the exact same position. So, and then Kim was re-entered to head back to the mound. But pinch runner is Duncan Milne. So Mikhail Anderson at the plate. And Mikhail Anderson, interesting too. He celebrated his 25th game uh, for the uh, Denmark squad, which is quite a big deal in Denmark. And that happened for him yesterday, so congratulations to him. And he you know, would love to cap it off with a single right here. Yeah, absolutely. Give a little more breathing room to his squad for the seventh inning. Just off the plate. Stockford is beside himself as he'll go out to the mound just to cool down. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that, you know. Um, his pitch has just settled back into his rhythm, and uh, one of the things was happening, he was starting to get some calls as well, you know, both sides of the plate, and, uh, and maybe on the edges, he was getting those calls, called strikes, and if you argue too much with the umpire in a situation like that, he's going to squeeze you for a little while, and it's just a natural progression, so he's got to work with it. We talked about that at the beginning, yeah. and, you know, he struggled for a couple of innings, and I'm sure he wasn't getting many calls and stuff as well, so he's got to calm down as a catcher. Down and away, throw down, got him. So Milne caught stealing six, or excuse me, two six for the second out. That's a big out there. You know, Nuka Nuka's looking to apply some pressure on a close bang bang play there. A good snapshot throw and uh, over to second base, but a great tag applied by Regan O'Neill to get the, uh, get the speedy runner out. Coach Israel Nuku Nuku maybe had a different view of that play, and I guess uh, you get maybe a different angle. But, uh, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Three balls to the batter in the process. Kevin Stockford was still chewing on the ear of Jason Carter. And called strike. Three and one. Two down. That one fouled off. Goes right off the mask of Jason Carter. Carl, I tell you what. Someone's going to go in and tell... I'm probably caught it onto the phone because the bells are ringing down there. That thing Absolutely. hit him square. Three and two count. Battle back to make it full here to Mikal Anderson. Called strike three. Down on strikes goes Anderson looking. And ten strikeouts on the afternoon for Kyle Linton. So we head to the seventh. It's last call for Great Britain. Three, four, five hitters in the order. Coming up next on Sports Canada TV.
Way we go to the top half of the seventh inning. Three, four, five hitters. Peters, Darby, and Linton do up. Want to take a minute and say thank you to the great sponsors here of the 2017 Men's World Fast Pitch Championships. The funding partner, Yukon Government. Premier sponsor, Pepsi. On the little roller foul. Official suppliers here in Whitehorse. Air North, Home Hardware, Molson Coors, PRP, the Rush 96.1, Standard Bus, Super Save, and White Horse Motors. Thank you for your sponsorship here to make this a premier event. That one misses outside from Hansen. Kyle Smith, Jason Gerby's here with you for the seventh inning. Denmark and Great Britain. Great Britain have got some hay to make here. Down three nothing. Peters had a single back in the fourth. That one gets lifted up. No man's land falls in for a base hit. He's gonna be DOA dead on arrival. Thought he could catch him sleeping, but that ball pretty shallow in the outfield and an easy throw down. So he'll get credit for a single and put out 9-6 for the first out. Yeah, that's a shame, uh, Carl, just like when you're on the blackjack table. You got two pitcher cards. You don't split them. You just take the money and yeah. you stick. And just like that there, he got lucky with a, a ball that landed between the, the, between the runners and just so take that. Darby going to drop that in for a base hit. Slipping out there was... The left fielder, Anderson, or excuse me, Lucas Lohman. So Darby gets to the base and he's a little slow to get ready. So back-to-back -back hits for the first time this tournament. Yeah, no But outs. only one runner on base. <laughs> no outs. Runners on one and two would have been good. So I think we're a runner under the plate. But hey, they got one on here. You know, we got to start somewhere. So Kyle Linton now 0 for 2. A fly out and a strikeout. Takes for a strike. And a swing and a miss. Yeah, here's a look at the close up this game. He's pitched well all day, being composed, giving away a couple of hits there through the middle. Oh, two, swing and a miss, strike three. Down goes Kyle Linton. Two down in the inning. 11 strikeouts for Hansen this afternoon. Yeah, Kim Henson's throwing a gym all right. Just what Denmark needed. Leave it on the, in the wind column. Swing and a miss by Davies. Henson just dropped it off the table. That was vicious. It's unheard of, right? It was there, it was there, it was there. It disappeared. Just off for a ball. That outside corner now lamenting with Kim Hansen. 1-1. One, one. Check the swing. He did go around, says Vladimir Liss. Yeah, great call, dude. He got it right down the, down the line there. He's watching intently. and uh, That's what you need at this level. You've got the best umpires in the world at the best men's tournament in the world. So a 1-2 count, looking to close it out, Hansen. Deals, swing and a miss. Strike three. 12 strikeouts for Kim Hansen. As they pick up a 3-0 win over top of Great Britain. And Jason, for your thoughts on this one, uh, I think Kim Hansen just 
worked his magic. He sure did. You know, shutting out Great Britain through that game. I know Great Britain have struggled to score runs uh, in this tournament, but uh, but Kim Hansen was locked in from the first pitch of this ball game, and he deserved that win there. But right on that last strikeout, the catcher, the captain, uh, Onis Jorgensen, uh, back there to let out a big hurrah because it had meant so much. He knew he needed to help lead this team to a win today. He got the backing from uh, Hansen in the middle, and you know Denmark applied a lot of pressure. Obviously, the leadership of the Nuka Nuka brothers out there forcing those errors and sending runners on a on a shallow fly ball. And you know what? If you want to win, you have to take your opportunities, right? Yep, absolutely. And I think you got to give the player of the game to Kim Hansen with 12 strikeouts. Shut the door. Didn't let Great Britain get anything going. So we'll give our nod to him. We'll step out and let the boys get ready for New Zealand and the Czech Republic. Coming up next on Sports Canada TV.